99 वर्कआउट्स विद तुषार रमणन जैसे हम हर एक एपिसोड में एक नए गेस्ट को फीचर करते हैं आज मैं एक बहुत खूबसूरत जगह पे हूँ ये एक योगा स्टूडियो है और इसकी एनर्जी तो बहुत ही अद्भुत है जब से मैं आया हूँ बहुत ही मैं एनर्जाइज फील कर रहा हूँ और मैं एक खास गेस्ट से मिलने वाला हूँ वो बिलोंग करती हैं एक बहुत ही स्पिरिचुअल जगह से जहाँ पे बहुत लोग सिंपल रहते हैं ये कौन सी जगह है और ये गेस्ट कौन है मैं आपको दो मिनट में मिलवाता हूँ आई यू आर वॉचिंग नाइनटी नाइन वर्कआउट तुषार रंगन आज की हमारी गेस्ट है पेमा जिनको मैं काफी टाइम के बाद मिल रहा हूँ थैंक यू सो मच फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू हैव अ स्मॉल इंटरव्यू एंड अ स्मॉल चैट आपको पता होगा कि हमारे शो में जो लोग फीचर करते हैं उनकी कहानी होती है बहुत अद्भुत कहानी होती है और आज हम पेमा से मिलने जा रहे हैं इनकी भी जर्नी जो है क्या है हम उनसे पता करते हैं पेमा यू आर ओरिजिनली फ्रॉम फ्रॉम राइट आई एम ओके सो आई बिल Tibet is a beautiful place. It is, and I, it's my dream to go there. I've never been there. Oh wow! Because I was born in India. Okay. So, एक तरीके से मैं पूरी देसी हूँ. अच्छा. So, um, do Tibetan uh, culture uh, does it involve a lot of spiritual things? Yes, it does. Because it's uh, end of the day, it's Buddhism, and right. Buddhism in Tibetan culture is followed only for the surroundings and the others. Right. Because they always say that when you Do things for other, and the surrounding is happy. That's when you get the peaceful right. environment. Right. Otherwise, you keep asking for yourself, but people not around you will not be happy. So, वो जो आपको होना होता है वो चीज़ जो जो लोग ये बोलते हैं वो सब गेम में दैट नेवर फुलफिल्स. So they say that you have to have to pray for others, and everything related to Buddhism is all related to spirituality. Right. From things like going and feeding the animals, so there is. Buddha, 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 Which is Indian or Indian, like parathas and all that. For me, it is the same struggle. But I do have a lot of cousins who eat very differently, and their fitness regime is very minimal. Okay. But whatever they do, small little bit, it has a huge impact on their body because it's a very clean body for them, spiritually, mentally, physically. They really maintain it. Right. So for uh, Tibetans, fitness is there. Right. More of Tibetan yoga is there. Okay. Which is also a part of. Uh, Very close to Indian yoga, the Ayengar yoga, okay. and uh, that is something which is combined with the spiritual part, which is really worked on okay. more than like a physical physical thing. And because they are hard working, I also feel being Tibetans. Most of my experiences with Tibetans are in India. Okay. There's a huge diversion which has happened in, uh, when the Dalai Lama moved here and the Tibetans moved here in the fifties. So now you have even in the food there's diversion of green vegetable which is not available in the market at all. Then there's a diversion of uh, hard workingness has come because they were refugees when they came here. They were from people from small families, big families. Doesn't matter which family, everybody had to go to the level of making roads on the roadside. This was their first living job when they arrived here. So I have seen that whole change happening, but that uh, hard working has never goes. Right. No matter they make a lot of money, but wherever today they they say smart working. Right. Like I get a lot from my right. younger friends. Right. Why are you doing smart working? Why are you working so hard? So I think it's an ingrained thing right. because it's there in our genetics right. from Tibet till here after being refugees and slogging for years on. That is ingrained in every person, not just the older people, not just my generation, but the younger generation also. Right. That thing is always there in every right. uh, You are watching 99 of course with me and Pema. My last call Pema is from Pema. Before that, I want to tell you that Pema's journey is very difficult. Because 
आप तिब्बत से आए हैं आप पैदा हुए इंडिया में अभी आप पुणे में हैं आप पुणे इसलिए आई क्योंकि वेदर के कारण went on like windows used to be on bed for me so i made a very uh, conscious decision of moving to pune because i had moved here before like for a year for a project and i think if one has to live in india this has to be the city in terms of cleanliness pollution also it's much more peaceful here in terms of feelings and everything so when the asthma thing happened i moved here obviously i took more uh, tension on myself of doing exercise and all but the change of moving from there Here is I used to use 14 inhalers in a month, and today's day I don't know where my inhaler is. It's been two years, four years. I don't know where my inhaler is. That's the change that I got. After some time, 14 inhalers, your sounds came out. Problem was, who Pune came, so the best place to live in Central Park is Pune. I don't know. 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 kind of know that your background background is sound engineering and uh, music is the sound class you do study classical yes. wahan se aap abhi uh, food industry mein hai yes. aur passionately uh, yoga vyakar yes. ye sab journey mein aapne food industry ko choose, uh, choose kiya aur uh, music industry so food industry just happened uh, i think mujhe pune aayi thi the lot of food that i eat which is my local food right और बहुत जगह ट्राई करा मोमोज इज द मेन एवरीबॉडी नोज अबाउट आप सबको पता ही है सो मोमोज जहां पे भी खाते थे आई शुड गेट डिसअपॉइंटेड बिकॉज़ एवरीबॉडी इज सेलिंग मोमो ऑन अ नेम ऑफ मोमो बट इट्स समथिंग एल्स इट्स एक्चुअली बिकम्स स्वीट इट्स नॉट स्वीट इट्स कंफर्ट देन आई स्टार्टेड डूइंग अ बिट ऑफ अ रिसर्च आई स्टार्टेड कुकिंग So I started cooking for myself, and I started cooking for friends. And this is why you're serving restaurant quality food for free. Right. You will start, uh, like you start, you know, like you pay, you right. start ordering from you. Then it started from you, a small home chef business. But it picked up to a level where I couldn't keep up inside the house, and I couldn't get staff inside the house. So I said, okay, let me get a space. And open a cloud kitchen. That's how we oh, wow. started. So tell me something. Because now you are into fitness and you do a lot of yoga for, for yourself. Right. Uh, is there a huge demand for health food? Do people ask? There for is. I I serve like my food is not a health food. I do Tibetan comfort food. So those are all tribal food. Very Bajara wala food. But in terms of health food, I can always moderate and like. Egg noodles की जगह है, soba noodles की basically is buckwheat uh, noodle, no gluten at all, it's completely gluten free. So I basically alternate, and I just started experiment because I experiment on myself, and it started working. So I started making things for people. Like one guy says, so if you can eat this, you will be breast feeding. So I make sure that that is only one. I measure it. So that's how I have a lot of clients who do subscription meals for me, which are all healthy meals. Right. I have spinach dough, dim sum. Which is all full of green vegetables, full of fiber in it. Right. Keeping all those in mind, I make these healthy goals. Right. Which was not my forte again. Right. But I had a lot of friends who were in the health, so I have atta mumu, uh, which is not my it's against my rule, but I make it for my clients because they love eating it because they, it's not matter. Because a lot of people have this notion right. that matter is very heavy right. on the stomach, and right. it is very heavy on the intestine. Some of these are protein and stuff, so we use the alternative of buckwheat, mix of veggies, sweet food, or otherwise. Uh, Right. So you're watching 99 workouts with me and Pema. We are in this beautiful yoga studio in Goida Park. My first question for Pema is that you have done sound engineering. That is the Hindu classic. Which is a little bit difficult. I sing for so myself. Do you, do you, do you, do you uh, sing like pretty often or like commercially also? Commercially only when some friends see me. Like I have friends who own bars and all, and they see me singing. some small clips of video they see on instagram me log ke aa jao so i have friends who have like sing also for me i go and sing with them one song but i see that you, you also have got some western influence in your music is it just that is more related to dance <laughs> okay no uh, as for singing singing I, i'll tell you because i started in hindustan in class school and in my time there was no attention of you picking up that hindustani class 
and then staying in that tone. Now when I go to sing Western song, I sing Western song only for myself. Okay. Because my classical tone comes in. Okay. okay. So if you see song, they come singing. A <laughs> right. uh, classical song and then a Western song, it'll be like that. Okay. So I prefer singing Hindi, Bollywood, yeah. old Bollywood stuff, right. or I sing a lot of Sufi stuff. Right. Or otherwise my Kodi is in Sunny class. Uh, Pema, I have been following your page and I see a lot of posts uh, where you generally focus on yoga and things like that, uh, which is very motivational. Yoga and I, I must say weight training. Weight training. I have had a lot of health issues in the last few months. Okay. I had both shoulders uh, torn completely. I okay. fell uh, for a reason. So it took me a lot of time to come back up. But I have seen this thing that the weight training has really set me right. After my uh, when I got better, I started paying attention on the weight training mm -hmm. and everything is gone now. Right? Oh, wow. So I really believe in weight training and a lot of stretching which mm -hmm. is therapeutic for you also, my right. mentally, physically, which comes down to yoga on the end of the day. So Pema, my last question to you is because we just coming out of pandemic, I can say that right. you know people have gone through, yeah, we're yes. still in it, like you know, we don't know whether one thing is here or there. Yes. Uh, what people have come out with, you know, mental issues in terms of stress, in terms right. of, you know, um, uh, they don't know what to do next kind of situation. I know, I know. Um, you've been busy with so many different activities happening. I, and I still go through those things. Yeah. But people yeah. don't through. Yeah. I still go through it, and, but I make sure that I don't sit there. Yeah. So exactly, my last question to you was, how important is fitness to you in terms of incorporating it? Little bit in your life, in spite of seeing this. Little bit for me. Yeah. My day starts with my fitness workout. Okay. The day I don't start with right. workout, right. I'm not myself. Right. Simple as that. It's a very six days a week I have to right. work out if I want to work and survive the day because everything I have seen a change the moment how you discipline yourself in your routine in terms of day to day. Right. The first routine is to wake up right. at a certain period of time and sleep at a certain period. Of time. Right. And along with that, if you have one hour workout on gym, your mental health is going to be totally different than what you're going through at this point of time. Okay. I have a lot of friends who are going through it, I suggest them to work out because I always feel that first week of the workout period where you struggle to go to gym, right. I always tell them, I think in the first lockdown, about 19 of my friends, they started working out really online. And today's day they're all working out now. And I feel really happy about it because I think that change needs to come in. Right. Related to fitness, also related to people who are into fitness. Right. It's a huge place right. where right. business-wise also and career-wise also everybody can benefit out of it. Right. Right. So I also feel like the fitness part has to be taught from the very younger Plus stage. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Pema, for you know, your, your, all your inputs today. You are watching 99 of course, as she rightly said, that these start, you know, the first week is very, very important. And once you start out, you get motivated by uh, like-minded people. You are in a nice atmosphere where you feel like, you know, going every day. Yeah. You need to be self-motivated for sure. One thing I would like to add, what you actually, you attract, how you feel is what you attract. Right. And to make sure you feel right, is the most important thing and just one thing, don't, don't just sit there, that's what I do, everybody goes through things, everybody has issues, right. problems, mental health, right. has to be worked on, so I think this is the best way of like just don't sit there, get up and start doing it and pick up the day and do it. So yeah. that was your fitness mantra from Pema today and thank you so much, uh, please do watch this uh, video because it's so interesting, uh, journey from uh, different levels and how she incorporates fitness as a business. Uh, she's an entrepreneur. So keep watching because my next guest is going to be equally special. Thank you so much. Thank you.